Chapter 1, in which we introduce Winnie the Pooh and some bees. Once upon a time, a very long time ago now, about last Friday, there lived a teddy bear under the name Winnie the Pooh. Why under the name? Well, because he had his name over the door and he lived under it. One day, Winnie the Pooh went to the forest to get a snack. He was always ready for a snack. Besides that, he was a poet, and in his spare time he composed poems and even songs just like that. Ram la la la, I scratch. Ra la 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 la, hap da 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 da. Sawdust in my head, head, head. If I scratch my head, head, head. That's not so bad, there's sawdust in my head. That's not so bad, although there's some rusping, roaring, bustle, puffing, and jaffle. I compose very well, yeah. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh is feeling very good. That's why he's singing us so very loud. No matter what he's feeling, if he doesn't start to slim, and he won't start to slim, if of course he eats on time. Ha! Tiddle diddle da da ra pa pam, rum pa pa ri pa 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 ding dum dum. Da 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 ram pa pam ro pa. A very tall oak tree. That buzzing noise means something. The tree itself can't make a buzz. It means somebody lives here. The only reason for making a buzzing noise is because you're a bee. Isn't that so? And the only reason for being a bee is making honey. That's what I think. And the only reason for making honey is so I can eat it. That's what I think. <sighs> if bears were bees, they would never think of building homes on trees. Bears love honey, who knows why? Indeed, tell me why, oh why? They like honey, they like honey, they like honey by and by. Ow! So, Winnie the Pooh went to Piglet, his best friend, who lived in a hut with a piece of wood saying, Trespassers W. Who was Trespassers W? Even Piglet himself didn't know. Good morning, Winnie the Pooh. Good morning, Piglet. I wonder if you've got such a thing as a balloon about you. A balloon? Eh. Uh, I've just thought to myself, I wonder if Piglet has such a thing as a balloon about him. What do you need a balloon for? Honey. What? Honey. But you don't get honey with balloons. I do. Well, it just happened that Piglet had been to a party the day before of his best friend Rabbit and had been given two wonderful balloons, a blue one and a green one. Which one do you want? It's like this. When you go after honey, the great thing is not to let the bees know you're coming. Uh-huh. Now, if I have a green balloon, they might think I'm a leaf and not notice me. Uh-huh. And if the balloon is blue, they might think that you're the only part of the sky and not notice you either. But wouldn't they notice you underneath the balloon? Maybe, maybe not. Oh! I should try to look like a small cloud. That will deceive them. Ah, well then you had better take the blue balloon. Where are we going? Me and Piglet will we'll keep, keep it, it a, a secret. secret. We, we won't tell a soul. Never, never, ever, ever, ever. Have you got an umbrella? An umbrella? You see, I just thought, why don't we take an umbrella with us? You never know with the bees. Okay. <laughs> Where are we going? Me and Piglet will we'll keep, keep it a secret. It. We won't tell a soul. Never, never, ever, ever. Yeah. Here. Hold it for me.
Now, I look like a real black cloud. Where are we going, me and Piglet? We'll keep it a secret. We won't tell a soul. Never, never. never. No. Blow the balloon. Okay. Let go! Hooray! Isn't it great? What do I look like now? You look like a bear holding onto a balloon! Not like a small black cloud? Not very much. Oh well. Perhaps from up here it looks different. And, as I say, you never know what to be. <laughs> hey, Piglet! What? I think the bees suspected something. What kind of thing? I don't know. But something tells me they're suspicious. Maybe they think you want their honey. Hey, Piglet! I don't think they believe that I'm actually a black cloud. What are we gonna do? Open the umbrella, walk up and down with it, and I will sing like a little cloud song, and you will look up at me every now and then and say, da 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 looks like it's going to rain. Looks like it's gonna rain! ta 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 Looks like it's gonna rain! I think it's gonna rain! How sweet to be a cloud floating in the blue. Every little cloud always sings aloud. Oh, Piglet! I think it's gonna rain! What? I've just been thinking, and I've come to a very important decision. These are the wrong sort of bees, and they would make the wrong sort of honey. So I think I should come down. I think it's gonna rain. How? I haven't thought about that. I think it's gonna rain. Piglet! What? Do you have a shotgun at home? Yeah. Bring it over as soon as you can. How sweet to be a cloud, floating in the blue. It makes him very proud to be a cloud. <laughs> oh, Piglet! I'm here! Shoot! <laughs> what are you aiming at? The bees! You shouldn't aim at the bees, you gotta shoot down the balloon! Okay, but if I do... I'll ruin the balloon! But if you don't, you will ruin me! Alright. Ah! Did I miss? You didn't exactly miss, but you missed the balloon. I'm so sorry. Maybe that is why, I'm not sure, maybe that is why he was always called Winnie the Pooh. Hey. Isn't it time for a snack? Ah, I think it's perfect timing. So that's the end of our story. I mean, the end of this story. But there are others about Pooh and Rabbit and Piglet, and the old gray donkey, and everyone else. Озвучено по заказу детского музыкального издательства Twig.